Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Operation Feather Fan, the series dedicated to exploring the life and achievements of Zhuge Leon, both in fact and folklore. I've already covered many aspects of Kong Ming's life, from his Long Zhong plan, his inventions, how he was recruited by Liu Bei, both of his Chu Shi Biao's and plenty of his occultism. One avenue that we haven't yet explored is Kong Ming's family. In this episode, I want to take a look at Kong Ming's wife. Lady Huang, known in fiction and folklore as Huang Yue Ying, her real name was not recorded in history. She was said to have been an extremely talented and intelligent woman, an educated lady, skilled in the arts of strategy, divination, geography and astronomy. When Zhuge Liang was looking for a suitable wife, the reclusive scholar Huang Zhenyong told Kong Ming, I heard you are looking for a wife. I have an ugly daughter with yellow hair and dark skin, but her talent matches yours. She was rumoured to be rather homely in appearance. The legend goes that one day Zhuge Liang visited his mentor's house. As he stepped into the building, two dogs pounced towards him. A maid ran out of the building and patted the dogs on the head. After taking a closer look, Kong Ming saw that the dogs were actually made out of wood and were inventions created by Lady Huang. Huang Chengyong saw this and said, These dogs were created by my daughter in her spare time. As Kong Ming went further into the home, two tigers appeared and lunged at him. They pinned him down on the ground. They were also made of wood. The maid came over once again and patted them and they sat still. The machines impressed Kong Ming so much that he agreed with the marriage proposal. After the two got married, a popular saying spread around in the village. Don't be like Kong Ming when you choose a wife. He ended up with Huang Cheng Yong's ugly daughter. I think that's an unfair saying, personally. In folklore, there is a story where Lady Huang invited her suitors to make a personal visit to her by claiming she was ugly, where in reality she wasn't. As they would visit her, she would hide herself under veils to test their resolve. When the crouching dragon Kong Ming came to visit her, she was silhouetted by the yellow moonlight and her head and face were covered by two veils. Unlike the other men, Sugar Leong entered the room and without any hesitation went to remove the two veils. As he removed the first veil, he calmly said that her so-called ugly appearance was a misunderstanding by her father, and she was in fact quite beautiful. Indeed, she only started the rumours that she was ugly to keep away any shallow-minded people who only wanted to marry her for her beauty and not her intellect. Folklore says that after the two got married, Lady Huang took care of the household chores such as the farming and milling. She was known to be polite and kind towards others. With the chores now taken care of, Kong Ming could devote his energies and efforts to the state affairs and managing the kingdom of Shu Han. As time went on, people's perceptions of the so-called ugly woman changed and they began to applaud and praise Kong Ming for his foresight and wisdom of choosing the right wife. A folk tale tells an interesting story when Zhuge Liang's friends came to visit. Lady Huang was very fast at cooking meals. This puzzled her guests so they went into the kitchen to take a look and were shocked to find wooden cooking robots doing all the work. In the mythology it was said that Lady Huang used a wooden donkey to mill the noodles as she was a fantastic inventor. A memorial exists for her in her hometown in Yawan village. There is the Yue Ying Hall dedicated to her in the temple of Marquis Wu in the famous Wu Zhong Plains. It was said that Yue Ying did not live much longer than Kong Ming, and on her deathbed she instructed her son to be loyal and filial. In pop culture she is a playable character in the Dynasty Warriors video game series, and she appears in a variety of other video games as well. So the moral of the story is quite simple. Sugar Leong was not a shallow man. Whilst others were judging her looks, Kong Ming knew better. He needed a wife that could match him and match his talents. He didn't care if she was physically attractive or not. And this gives us a valuable lesson. We should not judge people based on their outward appearance. Rather, we should look at their inward character and demeanor. Beauty is only skin deep and it really doesn't matter what the person looks like. 
What's inside is more meaningful, because in my opinion, an ugly personality is far, far worse. So thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with more videos. Take care.